It's extremely challenging because now we have school happening at home, so home became school and school became home. Trying to, to kind of have that mindset can be challenging, so trying to give breaks when, when possible and recognize that short-term breaks are a good thing. I usually encourage my clients to take a 10-minute break almost every 60 minutes if possible. I know some of the schools are doing 70-minute class periods, so if it's a 70-minute and they can take a 10-minute break to get a drink of water, grab a snack, get up, stretch, walk. I think because now that we've taken away like having to wake up and get ready for the bus, People are staying up later and then they sleep in later. So we do still want to try to set a consistent bedtime and have a, a good wake up time because schools are starting a little bit later. We can probably push how late we let the kids sleep, uh, but still we want to get them to bed at a good time. We're inherently social creatures. We, we rely on that, those social interactions. And when we're at home and we're only interacting maybe with our parents or siblings, we want to talk to those other people. There, there's, there are supports. Do they share those similar interests? So it's a lot of creativity. It's a lot of using things like FaceTime. I know video games get a bad rap, but a lot of kids are communicating via video games and having those social outlets. FaceTime while watching TV with each other or watching a movie. Sports are back. So doing that via sports, it's not the same, but it's a good creative alternative. The big thing is is just listen and be there. I often tell parents of the clients I work with, guide and support. Uh, the kids are used to being kind of told what to do. Ask them what they think they need and, and see how best we can accommodate that and rec recognize that it is stressful and kids are resilient and adaptable.